Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to do a simple recipe with cauliflower. So we're just going to have a roasted cauliflower with butter sauce. So let's get started and I'm going to show you how to make it. So I've got my head of cauliflower. I've taken the, um, the greens off already. So I'm just setting that aside. Then you're going to get yourself a pot. Put your cauliflower in the pot. And I've got four cups of chicken broth. Whoop, I'm making a mess here. So we're just going to fill up the pot. If you have a smaller pot, it would be better because you should try and cover quite a bit of the cauliflower. But this is kind of the smallest I have, so we're going to use it. I'm going to throw in a couple of bay leaves. If you have fresh thyme, that would be awesome. I have a little bit of thyme I'm going to sprinkle on the top as the powder. And I'm still going to use my favorite herb mirror because I just love it on all of my vegetables, my meat, and I am just doing a little bit of a shake. So now we're going to put it on the stove. The chicken stock has just started to boil, so I'm going to turn it right down. I'm going to simmer for about 12 minutes, approximately 15 minutes. I've had the cauliflower in the chicken broth for approximately 12 minutes. The timer just went off, so now I'm just taking my lifter and I'm going to put it into a, a, a pan that's going to work in the oven. So if you have a cast iron or any kind of ovenware that you can use to put your cauliflower in, that will be perfect. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of, of the um, stock on the top. And then I've got my melted butter and I'm just, I, it's a third of a cup that I have in here and I've got the oven on at 400 so I'm just putting that on the top of it for now and I'm going to put it in the oven and then I'm just going to keep checking um, and I'm going to cook it for another 10 minutes so I'm going to be adding the butter and then we will broil it to get it a little crispy on the top and that's how simple this recipe is and it's quite tasty. It's been approximately 12 minutes that it's been in the oven so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my knife and it's very tender so we are going to say that it's basically cooked and now I'm just going to take my butter which has hardened up a little bit and I'm going to keep some for after but I'm just going to let the butter run down and I'm going to put the oven on broil so I've taken it out of the oven and I just would like some of the juices to you know penetrate into the cauliflower so I'm just tilting it and just ladling it on just to give it that extra flavor very simple recipe and it's just great with any meal so here's my low carb roasted cauliflower with the butter sauce on it and you can add some more butter on top of it it's nice delicious thoroughly enjoy it just a quick and easy way to put a vegetable together for your supper one thing I wanted to mention is I have a lot of the chicken broth left in the pot so just put it in a jar and then you can make your soup you can use it for other things don't throw it away it's it's got nice flavor in it from the cauliflower and the bay leaf and the and the um, herb and marriage stuff so please save that because I make soup all the time and it's just great for you to um, put it in the fridge it'll last quite a while and when you're making soup or something you can use it so please don't waste it so you go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com try this recipe and try some of my other ones you take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.